time now for a look at your health. So you want to stay healthy this holiday season, right? Well, vitamins may not be the answer. Nearly half of Americans take vitamins, with multivitamins being the most popular. But there is mixed evidence tonight that they help in any way, shape, or form. Dr. Mitchell Goldman joins us now from UCSD with these findings. Thank you for being here. This is mind-blowing. So where do you stand on the debate over whether they're healthy for you or kind of a hoax? You know, it's mind-blowing to me, too, because I'm one of those 50% of Americans that takes vitamins. But a few recent studies have come out with 30,000 people or more in each of the study showing that taking multivitamins, which so many of us do all the time, really do not prevent the common cold, do not make you get healthier from a cold, do not prevent heart disease, do not prevent cancer. And so there's no real clear evidence that taking multivitamins does much. And this is a multi-billion dollar industry. So what you're saying is really <laughs> going against the grain here in many ways. So let's break down because there are gold standards of vitamins like vitamin C and vitamin A and vitamin E. And in fact, we have a list of the top five that people take that you say aren't effective. Can you tell us for each one what we think they're supposed to do, yes. but what they actually do? Well, back in the 70s, a very famous chemist from Stanford, Linus Pauling, uh, first came out with this whole idea that taking mega doses of vitamin C was going to be really good for you, boost your immune system, prevent cancer. Unfortunately, although he was a brilliant chemist, the studies just didn't pan out. And so vitamin C doesn't really do much for the immune system. In fact, if you take too much vitamin C, it can actually have some harmful effects increasing the acidity in your system, actually giving you kidney stones. Vitamin A, similar thing. I was actually part of a big study when I was a dermatology resident at UCLA on doing vitamin A and vitamin E in prevention of skin cancer. Mm -hmm. Huge FDA-sponsored study in the VA system, absolutely no effect on any form of cancer. That's vitamin A. Take too much vitamin A can be problematic. Now, uh, vitamin D actually is one of the vitamins that actually does work. And so vitamin D is very good. You know, it's much better to take vitamin D instead of going in the sun, and vitamin D will actually help us with our bones and our immune system. So vitamin D, definitely one of the vitamins that you should take. But again, vitamin E, really not that helpful at all as well. And then the worst is vitamin B. You know, people think vitamin B is going to give you a lot of, uh, a lot of boost in your right, nervous B12 system. B12 in particular. And the problem is if you take too much B6 and B12, it can actually do the reverse and it can actually damage some of the nervous system. So there are serious side effects if you overdo it and not all vitamins apparently are created equal. So the only one that's getting the Dr. G stamp is vitamin D tonight yes. and that's if you have a deficiency, correct? Yes, but you know, so many of us, I have a deficiency, we were talking on air, you have a deficiency. So it, vitamin D is one that you really can't go wrong with, you really should take it. And then wow. of course, if you're pregnant, Pregnant women really need to take vitamins, especially folic acid. It prevents neural tube defects or pregnancy defects. Right. And then if your doctor says that you do have a deficiency, that's what you should do. All so right. number one thing we say all the time, listen to your doctor and then eat your fruits and vegetables and exercise and you'll and do that's just where fine. you should get your vitamins. All right, Dr. G, thank you so much. And Andrew, I guess you can throw away all those uh, vitamins you probably have sitting around your yes, sink right now. They're gone. Vitamin D, folic acid, check, check. <laughs> Listen to our doctor, Dr. G and Kathleen, thank you very much for that.